Ah, Live Link. Whether you're a virtual production artist, a VTuber, or even a game designer, you're gonna wanna use this thing. The opportunity to create characters with facial expressions generated live from your own performance, like this right now, it's just huge. If you've never done this before, consider this an abridged tutorial. And if you've done this before and you're scratching your head at why this isn't working, I've assembled a quick checklist for you to see at a glance if you missed a step. This tutorial is for Unreal 5, which is an early access. Some of these things will change. This list is also available as a link that you can use to bookmark and print. It's in the description. First things first, let's install plugins and restart the editor afterwards. The plugins we need are LiveLink, Apple ARKit, and Apple ARKit Face Support. Let's import our skeletal mesh via the FBX import panel. Some of these settings are really important. We're gonna use import skeletal mesh, import mesh. We'll make sure that our skeleton section is blank. Make sure that you have morph targets set on. We're gonna make sure Unreal imports normals instead of generating them. Make sure to import animation as this is kind of hard to add later on. And finally, choose how you want Unreal to handle materials. Next, check your skeletal mesh. Confirm you have all your blend shapes. They're gonna appear as morph targets in the skeletal mesh editor on the sidebar. If you messed up and set your import incorrectly, you can find the settings here and click the re-import button tool to re-import the mesh. Next, get the live link panel in the windows section. It's under virtual production. When it pops up, it conveniently is giving us an option to disable the use less CPU when in background setting. This is really big, and it's really nice that Unreal 5 puts it right here for us. Disabling this will keep Unreal running at full frames per second, even when it's in the background. Next, let's set up our phone. Download the LiveLink app if you don't already have it, and make sure the app is functioning correctly. Make sure your computer and your phone are on the same Wi-Fi. This is a problem that I run into sometimes. You think this would be really obvious, but I forget. Get your computer's IPv4 address and write down the numbers into the target area in the app. You can find this in Windows settings in the network section, or you can open command prompt and type in ipconfig. Next, confirm your phone is working. It'll populate automatically in live link with a green icon if everything is working correctly. Correctly. <laughs> If your device still won't connect after you've tried this, try messing around with your VPN settings. Sometimes your security can mess these things up. Next, we're gonna create animation blueprints. Add and evaluate live link frame node to the event graphs update blueprint animation event and make sure the role is set to basic. It'll throw an error if it's not set and sometimes it's a little finicky. Add a live link pose node to the animation graph and connect it to the output. Make sure both are set to use your activated live link device. You can add it in a drop down menu. Now let's go to our skeletal mesh in the editor. You can set your mesh to run your animation blueprint during runtime with the animation mode in anim class. This one gets me all the time. Make sure you get this one checked. You can also turn on animation in editor by selecting this little checkbox. And you should be good to go. Do a little play test and see. Well, that looks pretty good. And lastly, make sure you have a plan for how you want to test this with your face. It should be pretty obvious if your face isn't emoting, but what I will say is don't contort your face too much. I find that after a long day of live link testing, I can get a big headache. So my final advice is to smile. If you smile, it'll obviously register with the character, but then also you'll have smiled more all day. And wow, isn't it great?